the controversies have been damaging, the criticism relentless. Dame Christa, you're losing uh, public trust in the police and now the Mayor of London. Is it time to resign? Good morning. In the past... I'm going to do an interview. Good morning. In the past, you've blamed bad apples for the issues in the Met Police. Surely now you need to accept that there's cultural issues. This was Britain's most senior police officer this morning. Dame Cresta, what are you going to do to prove to the public and the mayor? Careful, 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 careful. What she said next would prove to be her to... final ill-judged statement as commissioner. I have absolutely no intention uh, of going. She uh, said she was I'm going really nowhere despite the chorus of criticism, actually, uh, but tonight she did years, just that, uh, leading still wearing her police fascinate. uniform for now. Following contact with the mayor of London today, it is quite clear that the mayor no longer has sufficient confidence in my leadership of the Metropolitan Police Service for me to continue as commissioner. He has left me no choice but to step aside. I say this with deep sadness and regret. The murder of Sarah Everard and many other awful cases recently have, I know, damaged confidence in this fantastic police service. There is much to do, and I know that the Met has turned its full attention to rebuilding trust and confidence and to raising our standards. Sarah Everard was kidnapped, raped, and murdered by a serving Met officer. <laughs> Women were handcuffed, removed from the crowds of the vigil shortly afterwards. This was one of the scandals that would eventually lead to Cresta Dick's resignation. Then the revelations that officers at Charing Cross Police Station sent messages that were racist, Islamophobic and bragged about violence towards women. The Mayor of London had told the Commissioner to produce a plan to turn Scotland Yard around. Tonight he responded. I am not satisfied with the Commissioner's response. On being informed of this, Dame Cressida Dick has offered her resignation, which I have accepted. It's clear that the only way to start to deliver the scale of the change required is to have new leadership right at the top of the Metropolitan Police. Yet she was a trailblazer, the first woman to lead London's police service. I could not be more pleased to be uh, appointed as the Commissioner. Uh, it's beyond my wildest dreams, an extraordinary privilege. But even back then, her career was haunted by past police errors. Gian Charles de Menezes was the innocent man shot dead by armed police after boarding a tube train. Officers mistook him for a suicide bomber and opened fire. Then Commander Dick was in charge of the operation. As commissioner, the case of Stephen Port was another to add to a long list. Police missed opportunities to catch the serial killer. Jack Taylor was one of Port's victims. Recently we had a meeting with her and she came across like she was going to stand up and be counted. And really we feel like she hasn't done that. She hasn't stood up and been counted. Cressida Dick has led a remarkable career. But a pioneer will be remembered for her association with scandal and failure. She says she considers resigning as commissioner every few weeks. This is one routine at Scotland Yard that will now change. But how many others?